Hi, in this demo, I want to show how to dynamically load the correct logo or picture inside your document. So we have an account called Rhino Cars, and this account is our main account. It's our company account, actually. So uh, we have multiple logos in our company. One is an, uh, a lightning bolt, and the other one is the um, uh, PDF Butter logo. So when the source is uh, web, and the other one is called other. We link these, these have the same name, yeah, that's for our example, these have the same name as big list inside our opportunity. So our opportunity lead source will decide on where, uh, on which logo we should use. So it's or the web or other. So for all the rest, we can of course imagine the same thing. How do we do that? First, let's start off with a document. We have a document. In the header of that document, we have a picture placeholder. You can download this picture placeholder from our website. So go to Get Started <clears throat> here on the Get Started, and then you can download the picture uh, placeholder from here directly. Why I use this picture placeholder? Because it's very small and it, and it really shows that it's an empty, uh, an empty hole that has to be uh, replaced by something dynamically. This picture placeholder, you have to give it a certain name. Uh, I call uh, mine the brackets, uh, the square brackets, always with the same uh, PDF Butler uh, merge fields. You can uh, have this selection here by just going to the picture and this uh, there is an, a checkbox here that says show this uh, uh, selection uh, window or not okay so i've given it an, uh, a certain name and now i can start using that and filling that okay so now we just have to select the correct um the, co the correct uh, picture from salesforce first to show how do we do that Let's first start off with writing an before actionable. So over uh, recreate a before actionable from uh, um, <clears throat> inside uh, your web component here, inside the developer console. And in this before actionable, I select the lead source from my opportunity, as you can see here, and uh, add to the input map this uh, lead source um, as the variable called logo title. So this variable now shows very easily that uh, or can be used in, uh, in queries from now on. So two lines of code, and we can really now start playing around adding uh, variables for our queries. That's one step. Next step is let's go and look at the queries. Let's start with the .config. And we have our .config for the picture by data. Okay, there are two data sources linked, as you can see, and there is one that has a Sokol uh, one, uh, so this is to select the correct picture. Let's take a look at that one. Take some time to load this. Let's try that again. Okay, so it was a, a little hitch in Salesforce. Uh, as you can see, this is a default Salesforce screen, um, but here we have a specific query that we have written. So um, this query I will put inside the, uh, the text for our uh, uh, YouTube movie, but you can see it's linked directly to the, uh, um, yeah, it's 001, so it's an account. It's linked directly to the account I was talking earlier. It's our Rhino Cars account. Using files is the best practice in Salesforce. Um, step away from any new developments that use attachments or uh, documents because this is the old stuff and I feel that, or we feel that uh, uh, Salesforce is moving away from that. So move to files as much as possible. So. And a file is best when it's linked to a certain object in Salesforce. In this case, it's linked to an, uh, an account. As you can see here as well, we filter on the uh, title 
of the uh, content of the file that we are have with the logo title that we got that we filled in here. So the variable that we filled in from our Apex code. So this is this part here that I say the logo title has to be the lead source. So this query will select one record and will select the record with the correct title from our Rhino cars list of uh, files that we have here. Okay, cool. That's one item. So this is not a picture list yet. So that's why you have to create a child data source here. Same thing here, create a child data source. Make sure the parent query field is uh, filled in correctly. So we can really make sure we only select this one child and not multiple childs. Um, make sure you have this, again, this linked entity ID here with, the, uh, with your uh, account linked to it. And of course, yeah, some complex looking query, but you can just copy paste that from uh, or from the notes I will I will put into the YouTube uh, channel. The image name doesn't matter here. The image source has to come from files, of course. Our parent is filled in automatically. So this stuff, yeah, you can really just uh, reuse. This is actually the field from the parent that will be used to make sure that we uh, only use the uh, um, the pictures or the files that are selected by the parent record. So, okay, we have our data sources. Now let's move on to the uh, to the doc config. Let's take a look. I will have it open. So we upload our document here. So that's our very simple document. We add our data sources. As you can see, these data sources are nested. So. Uh, we know that we will get the right ones and we just add one config type. Very simple. We say that we want logo one. We want to type picture. There is only one data source of, uh, of picture list. So we will select that one. It's called logo one. And I want to scale the pictures actually by, uh, by the height. The height must be fixed. So there's some scaling I think that can happen here. So that's all we have to do. When that is done, we can actually go opportunity let's take a look the opportunity details indicate that it's a lead source web so lead source web would result in our logo from PDF Butler okay click the button so yeah document is already generated it's uh, really fast and you see indeed that it's the logo from uh, PDF Butler. Okay, that's cool. Now, of course, let's make sure it all works. Let's change this logo into other. Save it. Okay, click the button again. So it takes half a second to generate the document. And see now we have the other logo that's linked to other. So the uh, so yeah, seems that uh, everything looks uh, was looking great. So uh, we are there now. We can generate documents depending, or we can uh, create select pictures depending on data on our uh, main record. Okay, thank you for watching.